of this game currently has 31 players. There was actually like two minutes until it started and not very many people have joined, which is kind of crazy because I was expecting like a lot more people to join, but it is what it is. I'll take a 31 player queue. It's better than having like 25 or 20, but we got a game modifier. So I'm kind of hoping that it, okay, I'm pretty sure it's true health or not, not true health, extra health. That's the one. Right, since it's the extra health modifier, I'm going to try and make Death Scythe in this game. And I'm just going to use it like once or twice and just see how much damage it can do. And by once or twice, I mean hit someone once or twice and then just save it until the next person or whatever. Because I'm pretty sure if you hit someone when they have 30 hearts, it's going to do like 25% of that. I can't even figure that out. I'm stupid. <laughs> how could I not figure that out? 25% 25 of 10 is 2.5. So 2.5 times 3, 7.5 hearts. And then you do, you hit, you'll hit him again and it'll do like, what, three and a half or something? I don't know. But yeah, to make Death Scythe, we need to get two kills and we need to get two bones. So luckily there's some zombies here. I can make a looting sword after killing the other skeleton. I mean, if the skeleton gives me two bones, then it's fine. And there we go. Let's go. So all we need to do now is get two heads and we can make it, which is obviously going to be pretty hard to do. Um, since everyone's on 30 hearts, it's going to be like pretty hard to get kills and not have to like make a G head or whatever afterwards. Now I'm pretty sure there's a chunk error like right next to us. So hopefully there isn't diamonds around here somewhere. Hey, there's diamonds, nice. And I'm pretty sure it's only gonna be one or two diamonds. So we'll only make one Philo. All right, come on, just give us at least three diamonds. That's all I ask. Uh, two, brilliant. Then get a single dupe. As well, having loads of gold in this modifier is going to be massively important. Because like with 20 hearts, most of the time if someone has a G head, you're at like a massive disadvantage. But if you have 30 hearts and they have 10 and they're eating a G head, you're still going to have like 12 extra hearts, you know? So it's just very good to have a lot of gold so you can heal back up to full every time you take damage. Right, here we go. Sharpness 1 diamond. Big game plays right here. And I still have the two bones. I could use them to dupe apples, but yeah, it's whatever. I'll try and make G-Heads when I kill people. Actually, I can't really make G-Heads because I said I was going to make Scythe. So, yeah, we're going to focus on getting Scythe. And it's a good thing I've got a lot of gold because that way I don't have to rely on heads for healing. I can just see gaps. Before I was saying how my nose wasn't blocking up, but now it definitely is a little bit. It's like I've just got like a sore throat as well. It's weird. Hey, there's someone there though. Two people. Oh my God. I can't make a boat. I bet this guy dies as well, right? Yeah. Derpy gold with a kill. I recognize that name for some reason. Uh, I don't know if it's because they're a cheater or something else. Maybe I killed them or they killed me. This is someone else. They have a diamond sword, so I don't want to do that. This guy is so killable. Yeah, get away. This is my kill. I hate how he's just stood there watching me. All right, I'll take a screenshot and then run. Okay, I don't really want to use this head. I want to try and make Scythe next. Derpy God's on 30. I can't believe he just died right there. What? Hello? Why is this sword doing so much damage? In the water we go. I hate dying to people like this because they just don't know what's happening. Like he sees I'm weak and he just thinks instantly, this is a free kill, let me go for this guy. But he doesn't realize what's going on around him. It's so annoying. Like, he's still just Bobby when there's a guy in the water. And I'm just going to heal back up. And then you're going to be so focused on trying to kill me to where he's going to be able to think, oh, this guy's actually quite killable. Let me go for him instead. And then you lose all your healing. And then you just end up dying. <laughs> like, he has a bow. He should be winning this fight. Where's the half diamonds? Like, hello? There's a half diamond? <laughs> no way. Now you realize you can get half diamonds. It's crazy. This guy is on 52. All right. I can't believe that guy was just going for me. When there was literally someone right next to him who was half diamonds, like about to die. We kill this guy, I think. Yo, GG, bro. Outplayed. <laughs> can't even hit me. Two gaps. Okay, we're back in the game. We're back in the game. I just need Death Scythe. That's all we need. I'll be able to kill this guy behind me if I get Scythe. Even if he had, like, a G head. Okay, that's a literal Steve. He's on 9 HP. Thank God, thank God, thank God. He's dead. Didn't pick up the head, though. Of course. 
Right, Santa's cookie. I need to stop eating gaps and wait till I can use that. Literally, the three quarters diamond and then derpy gold. Derpy gold's on two HP. We just win. We've actually won the game. It might not seem like it, but we've actually won. And this guy's on 49. Don't know why I'm fighting him. Screw it. I'm just going to make Icarin clean this. If he turns around right now, I'll Icarin him in the face. Close. <laughs> Almost did it. <laughs> He's... he doesn't care about the other person. <laughs> I just saved you! <laughs> Leave me alone! Right, Halhum has a dragon sword. So my guess is that he killed Derpy Gold. Well, they fell to their death, so probably. What's that one craft that I can make when I'm below five hearts? It's like Eldorado or something. Right, so this guy behind me... He didn't get the heads, because I did. And I don't think he has any kills, because he was literally, like, super light to the surface. So I'm going to use the heads to get speed and combo him. Uh, I also need these sheep, so I'm just going to do it right now. And then eat the gap. Okay. Use the speed while I have it. Yeah, good job, bro. Oh, that's perfect. Oh my god, that couldn't have been more, per more perfect. Please, two gaps. As right, so I got two diamonds, can't do anything with it though. Do I make the chest pipe prop three? I think I do. And we'll be kind of tanky. But I've only got two gaps and one head, and I still need to make this scythe. If I can make scythe, I win the game. But I can't make it when I have to just heal up every time I kill someone. It's kind of annoying. Um, I can also make another gap, thank god. So we'll have four gaps, which is actually very good. Um, and I've got Santa's cookie. I need to remember that. I don't think I'm going to like be able to eat it, though, because I've got such high saturation stats or whatever. But obviously this Halhom guy has a dragon sword and he's three quarters diamond or whatever. I shouldn't have used that because I actually do need to get a bow, which is why I wanted to kill that guy right there because of the sheep. I need string for a bow. Like, if I have a bow, I kill this other guy so easily, so... We just go back over here and get the other sheep. This game is going to be very clutch if I can just get one string. I know I'll be able to win if I just get one string and we just got it. We can make more arrows. I really need the toilet. <laughs> so this is going to be a long death match for sure. If you ever have to go when you're playing a game, it always just feels like it lasts forever, you know? We don't have any gold left, so we'll also need gold if I'm going to make death scythe. Right, I need to gap now, but I also need to eat this Santa's cookie. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Need to go to middle for the arrows and then try find the easiest kill. And I need to get four gold off someone. Come on, let me get the other chest. Go away. Thank you. That guy's on 36. I just need to bow this guy. He's not going to have much healing, I don't think. It looks like he's cheating. And he talks as if he's like a high... St like, hello? Are you not watching what's going on right next to you? Oh my days. Go away. He's using a diamond axe. That's actually kind of scary. I'm using a pack... Which would be used in like 2014, 2015. And it looks like this guy's Perun in deathmatch with full iron. Which is very 2014, 2015. It's kind of scary. Did I get the heads? I did. Now this guy's only like a 3 star. So he's not going to have 20 nuggets from a kill. So I need to pick up 2 gold somehow. Don't know where I'm going to get that from. I'll probably just end up keeping the heads. I mean, from the start, I wanted to make Scythe, so it kind of sucks not being able to make it now, because I would have really made the video more arrows in there. Thank you. Just quickly eat this. If I just bow him, we win, so... It might seem like I'm being stupid, but he literally has a dragon sword. He hits me twice, and it's, like, equal to him hitting me five times with a bow. Right, can this guy please just bow back? I'm not going to do anything else for the next five minutes. So you might as well just try kill me. I don't have an extra bow, which is very bad. I thought I did. I haven't made a single G-head this whole game, by the way. If I didn't want Scythe so bad, I definitely would have just won so easily. Okay, thank god he didn't hit me there. 
I said I have one head for healing. He says, I don't mind a sword fight. The annoying thing about this is the boulder's coming in and he killed those two people, so he's going to have two heads. And he hasn't used them yet, I don't think, so... Actually, he might have used one. Is he still in there? Oh, Jesus. He's going to eat a head in a second. Or not. And going up into middle is super bad, by the way, because it's very easy for me just to be able to know where you're going to be at. You know what I mean? There we go. I'm pretty sure that was a G heads. He's a, uh, he's a free star, so he's not going to have much speed. And he's already going back to Bowen, which doesn't really make any sense. Because <laughs> you want a melee. That was your one opportunity to do it. Better respect it. This guy definitely doesn't know what he has. He literally has like sharp three dragon three quarters and he's still just hiding instead of going in. And you had a G head the whole time. Are you joking? That was such a good water, by the way. Nice. That happened to me as well. He isn't gapping, he's got no healing. Got the stupid chests in middle. They don't even open and you right click them or the enchantment table or whatever.